Eyes for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for Taqwa, be wearing of Allah. And Tha is for Thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Kha is for Khatam, the seal of the prophethood given to the Prophet. Muhammad Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our program, Learning Arabic. Today it's ka or kaf. How can we pronounce it and how can we write it? I think that would be our major point today in such episode. In the last episodes, we discussed a lot of Arabic alphabets, starting from alif and ending up with qaf. And as everyone knows that in Arabic we do have emphatic, non-emphatic sounds. We also have classifications of sound. We can discuss more about that after introducing all my guests today. I'm joined as always with uh, Mohammed from Guyana, uh, Khaled from Guyana, Mohammed from Pakistan, Osama from Egypt, and uh, finally, my dear guest, Nabil from Pakistan. Welcome to all of you. Today we're going to discuss about, we're going to discuss how can we write and pronounce the Arabic alphabet, Kaf. And I think that is probably could be close to the um, English letter, K. Yeah. Okay, that's why it would be actually quite easy, actually, if we just have a kind of comparison between two letters. Now, let me just move on here to the slides, and I would start here by saying this emphatic letter corresponds to English K. Kaf represents a familiar sound that takes no extra effort on your part of your tongue. Okay, take care of the distinct, uh, distinguish between between Kaf at the letter and Qaf, which is pronounced deep in throat, and that's why today Probably lots of people may be confused about uh, the two letters together between Qaf and Kaf. And I would keep saying that is Qaf is an emphatic sound. Kaf, it's not in this way. Qaf probably uh, very similar. Uh, Qaf as a letter is very similar to um, the tails, for example, of Sin and Sheen, Sad and Bad, also very close to Fa. But when it comes in comparison with uh, Kaf, I think that there is a difference in pronunciation. Okay, now let me just read how can we write such a letter. Kaf is a connecting letter that has two distinct uh, shapes. One is independent and final positions, and one in initial and medial positions. To write independent Kaf, start with above the line, make curve and follow the line. Here is that, in this way. I would suppose that there is a line here. So I would start with the line here in this way, making another curve here. Okay. Yeah. Make a tiny hook at the end. Here is that. Can you see that? Make a tiny hook. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, pick your pen and draw a little hems, a like figure inside angle. Here is that. In this way. Can you see that? Yeah. Well, this is probably the first form of writing calf when it comes in an independent form or independent shape. Okay. But I would say also that we do have a lot of forms when it comes to calf. Let me just move on here to the slides and... It says, um, for example, when we write, as you know, that is calf when it comes in initial position, like, for example, kabir. But I would like just to get back again to the previous slide, and uh, because calf is a connector sound. Yeah. It's something like jim, something like ha, something like kha, and calf even in pronouncing it, can you pronounce calf? So calf. Can you see that? Kef. Wait, is that Kef. a voice or voiceless? It's a voice. voiceless. A voiceless sound. Yeah, voiceless yeah. sound. Okay. Is that um, close to um, to K in English, for yeah. example? Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. So let me just start here reading here such a slide. It says, to write initial K, start as you do. The independent form, drawing down to the line, make a right angle and draw along into a connecting segment. Note that the body of the initial K is not exactly the same to the line on the paper. It, might, it, it may be slightly slanted or even curved, depending on the individual style. After you finish writing the skeleton of the word, go back and make a cross. Here it is, in this way. When Kaf actually comes in the initial position, please follow me in writing such um, a letter in Arabic. Here it is. I write that here in this way, making another slanted line, and then we make just one straight line here in this yeah. way. Can you see that? Yeah. Well, but this is probably one way. You can also start with another way, here in this way. You can make that here in such a way. Mm. Can you see that? Yes. Well, can you give me an example, please, with any words starting with ka? Kabir. Kabir, right. Here kitab. we go. Yep. Kitabun. Right, kitabun. Yeah. So let me start here with, I would say, kabir, for example. 
So I will start here in this way. Ke. How many letters do we have in Kabir? Be. Yeah, we have four. Yeah, and wrong. Can you see that? Yeah. Did you notice something? Okay. Yeah, well, I, all the, yep. I find here that when connecting the, 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 the alphabet, okay, we omitted the Hamza. Why? Well, well I, I think that this is very interesting, Sam. I think we did not discuss in such episodes Hamza, long vowels, short vowels, med, whether it's long or short. And I think that we're going to discuss something like that in a special episodes for learning Arabic. Yeah. In our program, actually, today, or in such episodes, we are discussing more about the consonants and how can we pronounce them. But I would tell you here something or could be also very important. When it comes to Hamza, I think that Hamza comes with ka when it comes in the final position. But I know that this is not enough, actually, to discuss the issue and the topic of Hamza in Arabic. Yeah. I think it takes, actually, more than one episode to discuss Hamza. And, but ka or kaf in Arabic, I would say, when it comes in the final position, we should have Hamza. But when it comes to the initial position, we don't have that. So we just start with a very straight lines here in this way. Can you see this? And you, make, you should make a kind of slanted line here in this way. Sometimes you can make that here, or you can make that here. It's something up to you. Hmm. Can you see that? Okay. Now I would like just to combine ka with ba. Can you see that? What hmm. I'm making here is that. I just started with the first hook here in this way. Can you see this? Okay. But I remove this hook. And then I combine ba with the a after that, here in this way, and then we end with ra. Yeah, that's period. Okay. I would write it again. Please follow me in writing it. Yeah. Okay, here is it. Ka, ba, yeah. It means big? It means big, right. Yeah. Here is it. Exactly, that's right. So can you see that? That's it. Yep, here we go. That's it. Yep, here is it. That is what I'm looking for. Exactly. Here is it. Yep, yep, Muhammad, that's right. So I think that this is when it comes in initial position. So we have to remember here that is calf in initial position, it's always connected. How about when it comes in the middle position? Here's another example, right? Yeah. Kabir, also we have Kitab. Yes. Also when it comes in middle position, I would say when it comes in middle position, it's Still always connected. connected. Connected, yeah. Right. Um, I can tell you, for example, um, give me one example, please, with K or K in Arabic in the middle position. I would say Fikra. Yeah. Or probably we can say doctor. In medial position, ka is written like initial ka, except that you must start from the connecting segment on the line, draw up to the following segment, doctor. Here is that. Yeah. Let me just start writing the word um, doctor. I would write that here in this way. Can you see this? How many letters do we have here? Well, and wrong. Can you see that? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five. How many emphatic sounds do we have here? No. Nothing. No sound, Nothing. Yes. We don't have that, right? So let me start here with that. Do you still remember the rule of da? Yeah. Yep. It is disconnected when it comes in initial position. In initial position, right. Yeah. So here is that. I would write da here in this way. And then ka here. We don't use hamza when ka comes in initial or in medial yeah. position. Again, and we make that in this form. Okay. And then we start writing ta here with a small hook. And then we combine ta with wa. And then we have ra. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. It means that we can put the, uh, little hamza on the kaf only uh, at the time it was uh, separate. Right. Exactly. When it comes separate or probably when it comes in the final position. The final position, yeah. Right. Connected yeah. with the, 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 the previous one. With the f exactly. That's right. Okay. So this is about ka. When it comes in medial position, it's yeah. always connected. Yeah. Let me just move on here to K when it comes in final position. Final K is similar in shape to independent K. Right, okay. Accept. Accept that. It's connected to the previous letter. Start from the connecting segment. Draw a line. Draw the line up. And give it a flag, a flat along the line. The same line, tail, you draw for Fa. When you have finished writing, giving it the little Hamza, like Mark. Hmm. I can tell you here that is when it comes to final position, I would say that we have two different forms of cat. Yeah. The first one which is connected, and the second one which is disconnected. disconnected. But in both forms, in both skeletons, we have Hamza. No. But in the initial, in the medial position, we don't have no, such really. Hamza. Yeah. Okay, is that clear? Yep. Yeah, okay, clear. Clear. so let me just move on here again and write, for example, the word shek. Okay, I think that is a mistake here in the trans um, yeah, yeah. transliteration, but 
Yeah. I would write, for example, the word sheh. How many, how many letters do we have in this word? We have two. Here it is. She. Can you see that? And ka. Yeah. Two I letters. will combine them together. Here is that. I remove the tail here. So I write she here in this way. Make a short distance. And then combining that with ka. The hook. Yeah. And that. Here is that. Which means doubt. Doubt. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Well, this is one example for ka when it comes connected. Please follow me also in writing the other example when it comes disconnected, like the word makuk, mm. which means shuttle. shuttle yeah. Okay, let me just write that in Arabic. I would write that here. Here is it. I will start with ma'am. Yeah. Here is it. Are we going to discuss more about ma'am because we have different forms of ma'am? Yeah. And here is ka, comes in the initial position, I'm sorry, medial position. And then I combine that with wham, yeah. and then with cat. Another cat here with the hook and the hamza. Here we go. Did you yeah. write that? Yeah. Okay, yes. let me just have a look at this. Well, terrific. Excellent. Muhammad, expert. Well, that is amazing. I think we can discuss more about that but after having a break. My dear viewers, we're going to have a break. Stay tuned. Don't leave. We will be right back. Uh, 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 uh. Righteous companions, it is Islam that given us the sense of dignity. I love all of them in a way that you cannot imagine. That Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu an would say something and the Quran would come down matching what he said. والسابقون الأولون من المهاجرين والأنصار والذين اتبعوهم بإحسان رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه Just compare, compare what you did for Islam with just one of them Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the second part of our program, Learn Arabic. In the previous part, we discussed how can we write and pronounce ka. And in the second part, we're going to also continue writing that and moving on to the following letter. Uh, I think that when it comes to ka in the initial position, the middle position, I think that would be very easy. No hamza, combined with the previous one, with the following one. When it comes in the final position, let me just give you another example. I think we did a start in the previous part, writing the word makuk. makuk yeah. Right, okay. So let me just give you the shapes for writing ka in Arabic. We do have actually a lot of words today. The first word here is kabir. Follow, please, repeat following me. Here is the kabir. Kabir. Yeah. So don't say kabir. Yeah. Kabir. You see that? Okay, please don't be confused between mm. ka and ka. Yeah. So kabir, I would say kitab, kitab, kitab which means yes. book. Okay, book. and then we have fikra. Fikra, fikra. fikra. please fikra. don't be confused between fa, sa, and ka. Yeah. Okay, so we say also fikra. We don't say fakra. Mm. That's something else. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then we say doktor. Doktor. Okay, and then we say shak. 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 And also we say makuk. Makuk. So please focus more attention on the word, the letter. Yeah. So this is about K, actually. And I think that would be, um, uh, in my opinion, I think that would be easy. Do you know why? Because here, when it comes for um, K in Arabic, I think it will be the same. Like um, in English, we have K. Yeah. And that's why I, I, would, I would keep saying that that is probably another secret of Arabic language, that you can find a lot of um, similar sounds that can be found in different languages. Mm -hmm. Now, let me just now move on to another Arabic letter here, which is... Lam. No. Okay, let me just have a look at the slide here. It says this letter represents the sound, a frontal L, in, in which the front part of the tongue is again, it's the back of the teeth, very close to L. Okay, and tongue is high in the mouth. Some English language speakers, especially in the US, pronounce L with the tongue farther back and lower down in the mouth, resulting in a more emphatic sound than Arabic Lam. Yeah. Okay. Say the word terrible. Terrible. Aloud. Terrible. So say it terrible. terrible. Can you see that? Terrible. Yeah. Okay. Notice that the position of your tongue when you say 
the final part of such word. Yeah. Terrible. Say bull. A bull. bull. Can you see that? Bull. bull. Okay. Now, it's similar to the position to your tongue holds when you say, for example, in your word like saw so and law. Okay, I think that's very interesting. I will tell you here that is lam in Arabic probably could be close to L in English mm. in different mm. w- in different actually shapes, okay. but especially when it comes to certain characteristics in pronunciation. But let me just read that. To pronounce Arabic lam, to hold the tip of your tongue against the back of your teeth at the roof of your mouth, and to keep your your tongue as high and frontal as you can. Can you see that? Yeah. In Arabic, we have emphatic and non-emphatic, non-emphatic lam in sounds like Allah. Yeah. And also like... We, you don't see this this kind of um, emphatic and non-emphatic sound from a similar to, in any word in English. Yeah. Yep, that's right. But no, I think that we have in English uh, dark L and clear L. Exactly. So I think that's true, right? Well, especially when it comes to the U.S. English. Or yes, probably, English. You can, for example, say milk rather than say yeah. milk. Something like milk, something like that. Yeah. Well, t- exactly. But here we go. That's different version of English. Right. If you stick to the one English, like standard English, it won't come. Probably. Right. That's in different cities. I mean, Arabic, there's only one classic Arabic. Yep. So by the one, sticking to one same topic. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So That's right. In that context, I think it don't come in English. Um, I think that is, a lot of linguists today claim that when it comes to an English language, you can find also dark L, as Osama said now, and clear L. And I think this is probably um, a real fact happening in English language. Yeah. I think so, Osama. But I think when it comes in Arabic, I think also in Arabic, you can find the heavy and the light yeah, L. Yeah, yeah. And I still remember uh, one of my professors was teaching me how can I pronounce El Mufakhama, which is emphatic. Lam, Lam Mufakhama, right? For example, when you say Allah, so we don't say Allah. Yeah. Can you see that? So we say Allah. Now, let, let me just read here in the slide, which it says, Lam is a connecting letter. A very important note here. So that means that it should be connected with the following one and with the previous one. The yeah, shapes... By, yeah, the way, by the way, the... the, the, the the name of uh, of Allah can be also pronounced in a lighter way. Exactly. Yeah, but, right. but, but this is in in, in, uh, in connected on continuous speech. Exactly. Okay. Someone, I think you are absolutely correct. Yeah. I mean, yes, you can find... So if we have Kasra before Lafz uh, al-Galala, so it will be lighter in, in, in Exactly. That's right. Right. Exactly. So here is that. Um, the shapes of lamb are similar to those of cat, except that lamb has no cross... Uh, bar and has a narrower and a deeper tail that dips below the line in its independent and final position, like here in this way. Can you see that? Here I would write um, the letter, the Arabic letter Lam. Can you see that? We make a straight line, then we make a half of the circle in this way. I would say that this is here a kind of line, and then sometimes you can find that here in this way. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, I think it is the reverse of L in English. Exactly, Samo. That's uh, that's. I think that's that's right. Yeah. And to write an independent lamb, start at the top and draw a straight line, continuing below the line into the tail, which should be approximately the same shape as the tail of sap, but little narrower. I think that's right. Yeah. And I would tell you that when la actually um, comes in initial position, I would I would keep saying that it's always connected with the following one. Let me just give you an example for the word Libya. Libya. Can you see that? Yeah. So when it comes, for example, Libya here, in initial position, let me just write that here. How many letters do we have in this word? La? Yeah. We have five. Ba. Another ya. Yeah. And then a. Yeah. Can you see that? It's five. It's five, yeah. Do yeah. we have any emphatic letter here? No. No. Exactly, that's right. So let me just combine them together. I would say here, last connected with the app. Please follow me in writing this word. Yes. Here is it. And then we have ba. We make a small hook here. And then we make another small hook here in the app. And then we make L. Can you see that? By the way, don't be confused between lamb here and Aleph here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you see that? So uh, how can we... Well, here is the point, Osama. When lamb actually comes in the final position, it's not written in this way. Hmm. It should be written with tail. Yeah. Exactly. But if it is not written with tail, then it will be aleph. Hmm. Here we go. And so this is about Libya. Let me just give you another example. Latif, which means nice. Here is that. 
I would say that in this world we probably have about five or four letters. How many letters do we have here in this world? I think that this is about four letters. Starting yeah. with L, which is Lam, and then Tom. Well. Yeah. Yep. And then we have here. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, and Fa. 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 Yeah. Can you see that? Do we have any emphatic letter here? Yeah. Yep. Ta. Ta. Right. So I will combine here Lam with Ta. I will make that here in this way. Can you see this? Here is it. A big loop, putting Aleph in the left side. Don't put any dot, please. Yeah. And then we make a small hook here to put two dots here in this way. And then we make Fa with the hook. And that's called Latif. Latif. Yeah. Which means mice. So this is probably in the initial position. Okay. How about in the medial position? Here is that. I would say when it comes to the medial position, it's always connected. The medial position starts from the connecting segment, draw up, and then track, trace back down to the line into the next connecting segment. Like, for mm -hmm. example, ballad. Yeah. Okay, let me just. Uh, you say ballad or ballad? Ballad. Yeah. Right. And we don't say ballad. Yeah, yeah. And you know why? Because we don't have vowel here. Mm. When you say ballad, we don't have vowel. But when you say ballad, Ballad. What, what, what is ballad. a vowel here? What is a well, vowel, vowel Usama is, is, is another segment in language. It's like um, consonant, but in vowel, actually, we don't have any obstruction of the airstream which is released out from the mouth. And in Arabic, generally, we have short vowels and we have long vowels. I think that we discussed long vowels before, Aleph, and we're going to discuss well, and yeah. And also, we have short vowels, which is Fatha, Damba, Kasra. And here in this word, ballad, I think, ballad. So we have here Fatha. Yes. Exactly. What's, what's the function of vowels in, the, in any Arabic words? Like right. Oh. The exactly. Fire, I speak about the function. Oh. Okay. It has many, many, many functions. Okay. So let me just hear. Um, I would write the word. How many, how many letters do we have here in this word? Ba, la, and da. Da. Here we have three. 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 Three letters, but four sounds. But four sounds. Yeah. Right. Exactly the same. Exactly. So. Now let me start here. So we have here small hook here for ba. We put just one dot below the line, and then we combine la with ba with la. Here is it. This is my point. If you would like just to combine ba with lam, then you start from the bottom side here to the upside, and you get back again here to combine lam mm. with the following letter, which is da. But I think that's also wrong. Do you know why? Because we have a big size of ba. Yeah. Again, so I would write that again. Here is that. In this way. So we should 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 be consistent in our. Exactly. Right. That's right. You put just one dot below the below the line, which is for ba. Can you write that, please? Yeah. Please show me how can you write it. Here is that again. Okay. Here we go. So this is called ballad. Ballad, yeah, that's which means country, yeah. right, exactly, that's right. Hmm. I like that. Okay, now let's move on here to the final position for lamb. In final position, drop connecting segment and draw a big rounded tail. Mm. Make sure to dip below the line and finish the hook by bringing the pen all the way back up to the line again. Here is that. Let me just write one word here, which is tawil. In tawil, I think that we have ta. The word here is starting with ta. Let me just have a look at that. So here is that ta and wa. And then we have ya. And then we have la. Can you see that? No. How many letters here? It's four. 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 Okay. Let me just combine them together. I would combine ta with wa. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to make here ya. Combining yeah here with lamb here is it in this way we make a big tail here in this case is this yeah here is it that's my point mm, yeah but here the the, the final the final la is connected with the previous segment. exactly but exactly. sometimes we have it uh, disconnected why like, can you give me an example yeah for example qala qala exactly here yeah. is that if I say for example qala it's the past tense for the qur qa here is that. So sometimes that sometimes means... Sometimes we do even have a, a line in, in, in uh, la as well. Uh, the line in the... Uh, in, in lamb. I would... Well, mm. I would tell you here something. So when it comes... Yep. Well, here is that. When it comes to actually in the line, I would suppose that we have a line here. 
So we start with Qaf here in this way. Mm. Okay, and then we make a lamb here in this way. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so you have to remember that lamb, when it comes in final position, I think we have two forms. It comes connected sometimes and comes sometimes disconnected and depends on the word. And I think we can discover more about that in the upcoming episodes. My dear viewers, please, if you have any comment or any question, send me an email to brave107 at yahoo.com. Thank you for joining us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Is for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for Taqwa, bewaring of Allah. And Tha is for Thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Kha is for Khatam, the seal of the prophethood given to the Prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam